Hello sweet sweet souls, welcome back. I hope that you are good and that you've had a good week. Um, so this week we're going to be doing what are their thoughts about you. Um, so going into your person's energy and pulling out the strongest thoughts between you or the mutual energy on that. Um, so before we go get going, what I'm going to do... My mate made me these. Uh, if you haven't checked her out, she's Marion K. Uh, Marion K. Tarot. She made me these, bless her little heart. Um, and they are a bunch of rider right weights on wooded back cards. So they are my own personal little deck. So what I'm going to do to begin with is we're going to be pulling one of them. I'm going to see what spirits say and I'm going to see what the cards say. And I'm going to see what comes up. Now, those of you that have been on the channel a long time know that I am a psychic medium. So not only do we use the, the cards, the cards are the tool, I connect directly with the divine, okay? So my right ear connects to higher dimensional guides like goddesses, um, 5D, higher energies. My left ear connects with your closer guides, okay? So your guides that are guiding you on a daily basis, spiritual guides, romance guides, twin flame guides comes through that ear, normal guides come through that ear. When I'm doing mediumship, dad's family's left, mum's side is right. And I hear them, like I hear them as if me and you are just having a conversation. And that is how I work. So I use the, the cards as a tool and spirit connect with me. Now, how that happened was a long time ago. And if you are interested, I can tell you the story. Um, but 10 years ago, I got hit by a car. And that was kind of, I was always gifted since birth when I, my baby brother died, but I'd switched it off in my teen years because it was really, really frightening. So when I was 25 and I got hit by that car, um, that was when everything turned around and this clear audience started coming through and I started hearing things. Years ago, you'd have been locked up in a mental asylum for that. Um, but nowadays we all know that that is, uh, it's clear audience. So it is the rarest of clairs to have and I'm very, very blessed that I do have it. Um, so today, really working with that energy, seeing what spirits say, see what the cards say and see what comes up about their thoughts on you. Other things that happened, oh, Matlock was totally amazing. Those of you that don't know, I went to Matlock to do a retreat and I did a day on Druid Magic. It was amazing. Um, they loved it, absolutely loved it. It. and then the afternoon we did some tarot too so it was a really really fabulous uh it wasn't a weekend but a couple of days um really really great fun really enjoyed it and um, and the weather kind of held off for us as well so we got to go outside and do some stuff with the elemental energies um, and it was fabulous really really good so if you're interested in workshops give me a shout because i'm thinking of doing some maybe online i know that they've asked me to go back next year uh, by popular demand they said can you come back next year and i said yes of course i can but i'm also looking at doing maybe some either local ones around england which i know is a bit of a pain for some of you guys to get to because uh, the biggest load of you are in america of India and Canada um, but also potentially doing some online um, now druidry and magic and how it works it, it's completely different from manifestation but it's the same thing of getting your dreams and goals to come into your reality um, so if you're interested let me know um, and also on that note if you need a reading just drop me a message mrlovetarot at gmail.com okay let's go so I'm going to show you the decks first um, this is deck number one, this is deck number two. Uh, we're going to more historical energy today. So this is the Victorian Romance Tarot and this is the Celtic Tarot. So we're kind of having a link with ancestors straight away, your ancestors stepping forward. Ancestors, when I'm talking about Claire audience, mum's side will be right, dad's side will be left, okay? So very strong link with your ancestors wanting to pop into your reading for you today. Number one, number two. Let's go. Deck number one. So I'm going to start off by just pulling you. I'm getting one of your ancestors to merge with my energy. I'm pulling you one of these. So can we have a card theme for today's reading? Let's see what comes up. The Hierophant. Okay. So straight away we have a divine connection going on with you guys. So it could be twin flames. It could be high vibrational soulmates. It could be um, that you've had a lot of karmic energy, lots of past lives together. And if you want a past life reading, give me a shout. Again, mrlovetarot at gmail.com. But you have this energy coming forward straight off the bat that this is a more divine connection, okay? So if you are going through the shit and it is feeling very heavy, that is why. Um, mentorship, guiding, truth of situations. So also when we're looking at your person's thoughts, it's this at this moment they're having a bit of a realisation of the truth. Okay, so they're realising the truth of the situation. They're realising that emotionally um, they have these feelings for you, but it's coming from above. Okay, so Spirit's saying really clear, it's coming from the 5D down into the 3D. So again, more divine connection. You guys are communicating on a different dimension. That different dimension is then sending the energy down of truth, that the connection has truth to it, that it has meaning and that it has purpose. Okay, so this is why the Hierophant is... Um, 
the, the mask art for your reading. Okay, can you tell me please, what is their person thinking about them? So spiritually, we know that you are tapped in, tuned in, turned up. Let's see what the energy is. What are they thinking about you? I'm going to get two more. I just feel that that is right. Got three, but I actually want to get another two. So whilst I'm pulling these cards in my right ear, I'm getting the song uh, Dream a Little Dream of Me. So this again, if we look at the very first card, the Hierophant coming through at the top, Dream a Little Dream of Me, your person is thinking about you at night time, they're thinking about your sleep. And if you didn't watch the video of what are their late night thoughts for you, that might be worth going back to watch. Um, so Dream a Little Dream of Me, again, very dimensional, higher dimensional, connecting on the 5D, communicating through the 5D. You will find that your dreams are very, very vivid. Um, also, and I was saying this in Matlock, something that's really important with dreams to know is that when you have a visitation in dreams, a lot of the 98% of dreams are our subconscious mind. The, that little 2% is when the visitations happen. So the first thing to note with a visitation is the colours will be more vivid. The other thing to notice with a visitation is that when they are talking to you, your person's lips on a visitation will not be moving. Okay, if it is your subconscious mind processing, you'll see their lips moving. If it isn't your subconscious mind and the lips aren't moving, but you're kind of having that telepathic communication, that is a dimensional visit. That is your person or whoever you're thinking about, someone that's past maybe visiting you. Okay, so if you have lost a loved one and you do see them in their dreams, if their lips aren't moving, please know that that is them coming to visit you. So. That being said, we have this very strong energy between the two of you. Now, the first card when we're looking at their thoughts is the devil. I quite, I'm a quite strong um, advocator for the devil. A lot of card, <laughs> a lot of people when they see the devil, they have this panic and they have this freak out over it. Now, what this is saying with you and your person and their thoughts about you is that this is a strong connection. This is a bond. There is a, there is this kind of pulling and pushing energy between the two of you, which some people would say is codependency. But we know with more spiritual connections that we wave in and out of each other's lives like this because that's your frequencies. Um, but we also, with the devil on here, spirit showing me in magnet, that you pull towards each other, and then sometimes you can just push away and repel. Now, the fact that this is coming up in their thoughts for you shows that you aren't actually far away from their thoughts. You are still there. You are still in their mind, and they are thinking about you. Um, with devil as well, it can often speak of addiction, so it shows that there is an addiction energy between the two of you, that your person is often going to want that hit, going to want to speak to you, so if you're not in contact, the devil is still lingering, and I'm hearing dancing with the devil being a song, um, the, the energy is still lingering with you, so you are still very much in their thoughts, and you are that addiction energy, and they are thinking about you. With the six of swords being next to you, it could be possible that they've took a step away from the situation at the moment. They floated off into the sunset and you're like, where are you? Where, where have you been? Um, and I'm getting that song, uh, another song, Spirit giving you a playlist today, Where Are You Now? Um, so this energy over here that even though they floated away from the situation or they've took a step back or they're not potentially giving you what you want, that song, Where Are You Now? They are still interested in you. They are still having that vibration of you and wanting to reconnect. Okay, so addiction energy coming forward. Yes, they might have took a step back from it, um, but this energy is in the back of their mind, okay? So they're in their thoughts, they're like, well, I'm just going to take a step away from it, but you're also still there. I am still thinking about you. Maybe I need to get in touch with you and see how you're doing. you got the six of swords. So we've got two sixes over here. June potentially was an important month for you. If it wasn't June in the next six weeks, you're actually probably going to notice some progress coming forward as your collective energy. If you want to look at individual timings, give me a shout. Uh, email readings is a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, so you can we can have a look very easily at your individual timings. So you've got this person making headway towards you, standing there victorious, and um, they know that you'll speak again, or if you're not in contact, and they have these thoughts about you, that you, they can't break away, they can't break the chain. Um, and with that, another song adding to your repertoire, Fleetwood Mac, Never Break the Chain. So you've got them moving towards you, making these strong movements, and um, victory is kind of assured with these cards. So no matter what you think about them and where they've gone, at the moment, 
they are still lingering in your energy and they are still thinking of you. We've also got the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is your sexual energy. This is you guys watching it. We're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but with it being the Queen of Wands, she is a very powerful energy. She's a very sexual energy. She's a very kick-ass energy. She's likely to be kind of um, running your own business or succeeding in work and things like that. She is a very passionate and if it isn't that, she just has a lot of creative energy, a lot of passions that follow her. So they're seeing you in that energy, this kind of very strong, empowered energy. They're also seeing you in a very sexual way, okay? So they fancy the pants off you, basically. Um, and you potentially have had some good times together as well. Okay, so lost coming up with that as well. With the Seven of Cups, your person is thinking, what can come from the situation? Where are we going to go now with it? Okay, so they are thinking there's a different choices there's different actions and things that they can make towards you we know that they will we know that that action is coming in and um, their emotions are a little bit in turmoil and this is why the sexual energy often dominates it the reason why their emotions are in turmoil is because they've never had this kind of devil energy before they've never had these um strong addiction to you to anyone they've never had that so for them they're experiencing something completely different so this is why their emotions go into turmoil this is why the sexual energy often wins when they're communicating with you or checking in on you to see how you're doing so what is your person overall thinking about you well straight we know that they're thinking that this is a more divine connection that they haven't had this pull towards anyone before we know that they probably took a step back from the situation, but it doesn't mean that you're not in their thoughts. We know that there is a very strong sexual drive between you all, but the emotions, um, they kind of pull away from because it gives them turmoil because they've never felt this way. And again, comes back to the more divine connections. Um, and we know that there is movement towards you, that there is headway heading your way, um, and that they they have got these this very strong bond with you, very strong connection. When we're looking at these cards overall, there does seem to be what you would what, what we would kind of say is a lack of cups, okay? So cups always symbolise water, water always symbolises your emotions. We have one card of emotions. Now the fact that they are missing from this really shows that your person buries those emotions down deep. They have got feelings for you, but they are hiding away from them at the moment. And that is why the sexual energy dominates. Okay, and that is your personal thoughts about you right now, and that is deck number one. So if you need me, uh, drop me a message, mrlovetara at gmail.com. Um, I'm doing video readings, email readings, a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Um, you can find all the details on the website, mrlovetara at gmail. Uh, www.mrlovetarot.com that will tell you all the types of readings that I do um but yeah so just give me a shout if you need me and that's deck number one okay let's go on to deck number two so I'm just gonna have a little bit of a spruce um do -do 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 just to change the energy up a little bit we're gonna use Bamba uh, because she is the ruler of not even a coffee equinox so we're just shifting that energy around for you as we go into deck number two. Now that smells absolutely amazing. It's got a lot of earth energies. Equinox is coming. Okay. So as I said, at deck number two, uh, deck number one, um, I work quite audiently. So we're talking to your loved ones, helpers and guides. Your ancestors are very strongly with us today. And I'm going to get them to choose your overall theme for your reading now. And that is this one. Okay, Empress, I like it, I like it. She's one of my favourite cards. So she often speaks of pregnancy, um, but also about dreams coming true, things being at the very cusp of manifestation and actually manifesting, 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 manifesting in the here and now. Um, she speaks of you guys watching, okay? So a lot of you guys will be ruled with the Empress energy, uh, very divine being very beautiful, gentle, nurturing, kind energy, and that coming forward for you guys watching. And um, as I said at the start of the deck number one, we're never sexually orientated to gender specific on the channel, but Tarot works with emperor, men, males and females. So even though it's a divine feminine card, um, it can sometimes be your person is the divine feminine and you're the divine male, um, it kind of works with your energies. I would associate that empress with you guys watching okay so this is you guys giving birth to your dreams positive card for you really really strong vibrational card for you okay. 
So we're just going into your person's energy and let's see what spirits say and see what the cards say. So what are they thinking of them right now? What are their thoughts? Ooh. Oh, look at that. How divine is that? Empress and Empress. So I'm getting the Amarillo, sha -la -la, la 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 That was Amarillo, I think, wasn't it? Um, and I'm also hearing Brown Eyed Girl. So there's two separate songs coming up as we're going into that energy. The songs that are coming through are coming through my right ear. So this is more divine beings. This is higher dimensional guides passing over messages directly to you. And I do hear them as if me and you are talking and having a conversation. Okay, it's that clear. So with you, my brown eyed girl, a song coming up with that, whether that resonates with one of you, resonates with all of you, that is coming up in their thoughts. And also, is this the way to Amarillo? So this song, I mean, it's a shocker of a song. I think it's a shocker of a song. Um, it's never one that I've actually chosen to listen to. But what's really clear with that, and I've just clairvoyantly seen a pathway, is that this is a path, okay? This is a road and this is a destination. And as I'm saying that, the crow has just flown across the window okay so i read being druid i read the nature signs as well so this is a connection to the other side this is a connection to the other realms okay you are being guided um but when we're looking at your connection and the pathway this is this the way to amarillo you have a path with your person what are they thinking about you Just a hand slip. Or what are they thinking about you yeah i did a tarot workshop um after we done the druidry magic and um they, they did very, very well on it. Really, really well on it. Um, but it's fascinating to see how people, when they first look at tarot, what they get from them. So, what have we got over here? Well, let's start off the very beginning. We've got a lot of major arcanas. Okay, major arcanas are the big situations in tarot. So you pull five cards, four of them are major arcanas. This is big. OK, this is big. Your person has some serious feels for you. And especially because actually we pulled the Empress at the start as well. And we've had a double whammy of her. OK, so your person's thoughts for you with the Empress. OK, they can see you as that other half to them. I just saw a very clearly uh, clear yin and yang. They can see you as their other half. They see you as someone that they can spend a future with. They see you as someone that they could have a family with. They see you as someone that they can build a connection with, okay? And they see this beautiful divine energy that you are, okay? They're really, really into you. Whether they say it or whether they don't, the fact is energy doesn't lie. And it's really clear that your person sees you in that divine role. They see you as a, as a beautiful counterpart to them, okay? Which shows, translating that to the 3D, that the two of you have got a future, okay? The other two cards over here that I wanna go to next are the sun and the star. Sun is a masculine energy, okay? The star is a more of a feminine energy. The sun talks of happiness, joys, outcomes. The star talks about hope and faith and being on the right path. And the star always reminds me of uh, when the wise men followed the star to get to baby Jesus, okay? Um, even though I'm not Christian, I am full on Jewish, that the, the, uh, the, the story of it is all about being on the right path to where you want to go. So your person is thinking that there is a future here, very, very clear, evident future, okay? They see that. And again, a masculine and feminine, feminine balancing they see you as their other half they see that this can work out and that's what they're thinking now do their actions add up to that potentially not we've got memories coming up i'll best take these ones because they're staring at me as well okay so we've got memories coming up stuff from the past between you guys it could be that you had a bit of a darker shadow side things happening between the two of you and um, but it looks like you're about to come if you haven't come out of it you're about to come out of it with a celebration coming up the other side there's definitely an influence of children coming up in this children flagging up on a lot of your cards and um, so whether they want family whether they've already got kids and um, they see that you can build a relationship and you can build a stable ground with them now the thing that is blocking it what we've got over here eight of swords and hermit or Merlin okay so let's talk about the wizard Merlin let's talk about him let's start off with the hermit so hermit is a card of reflection it's about going deep within inside yourself so your person might be a little bit standoffish with you they might be a little bit one worded they might be a little bit I'm not going to communicate with you today when this happens with Merlin coming into your energy your person's energy as the kind of you know mentor so to speak 
They are being divinely guided. They are reaching within themselves to find the light and they have the alchemy to transform the situation into these happy times, into this beautiful family unit, okay? So even though their actions might be a little bit stuck, a little bit sticky, um, and I'm getting with that, I'm sticking with you because I'm made out of glue, okay? So even though they might be a little bit sticky and not much happening, that song speaks volumes in its own right. I'm sticking with you because I'm made out of glue. They want to have a future with you, okay? Your person, um, have they fallen in love with you? They are definitely on their way if they are not in love with you. If that actions are showing you something completely different, again, it's because they're reflecting on that but they are falling in love with you and they see that there is a great potential for the future of the two of you to grow and develop and to blossom. Um, and with, wherever you guys are, like I said, if it is a little bit sticky or stagnant and not much is happening or it's gone a bit peak tongue and you've had a hurricane and a tornado and a massive explosion, just saw that all shifting in the middle, um, it's happening, if those towers have happened, it's happening so this can be rebuilt into the direction that you want, which is very much the seeds of giving birth to new dreams. They want you and that is your person's thoughts about you in deck number two so if you need me drop me a message mr latara at gmail.com email readings are 24 to 48 hours and um, they're eight pound 50 a question video readings i have got spaces for um i'm going away to london for the tarot conference in not next week the week after so do book in before i go um and uh, yeah and if you let me know if you're interested in some workshops and i'll see if i can get uh, maybe we could do a Druid Magic workshop um, on Zoom or something. We could we could get one of them going, which could be quite fun, couldn't it? So let me know if you are interested in that, and I'll see what I can throw together and see if we can get something sorted. Uh, you'd have loved it. You guys would have absolutely loved that look. Um, for me, it's been a long time since I've done any workshops in person. Um, I used to read locally until I went onto YouTube, and then now I just haven't got the time because you guys are my world and the centre of my universe. Um, but when, uh, when I read locally, I did a lot of workshops, um, but doing magic workshops, it just has a completely different frequency from tarot. Um, it's so, so beautiful and it's beautiful when people's goals and aspirations and dreams really meet reality. I love that. Um, and that being said, if you need manifestations plans and, and would like a more druid based manifestation plan, you can let me know as well. All details on the website, Mr. Love Tarot at gmail uh, www.mrlovetarot.com. Alright guys, love ya. Ciao.